Hey guys, this is Dandy Morgan up with a tutorial for you. I'll be showing you how you can add a wallpaper similar to this to your iTouch, like I have now on mine. You're gonna want to have a jailbroken iPod, and you're gonna need GIMP 2.6 as well as iFunbox. GIMP is a free program that you can download, it's just like Photoshop. Uh, iFunbox will let you view the contents of your iTouch and it works with any firmware no matter what you have I have the 3.13 firmware on mine so it works perfectly fine so to get started you're gonna wanna have a wallpaper that you want to be on your iTouch basically uh, mine isn't the size so I'm just gonna briefly go through how you can resize it you're going to want to link these three layers which I have not this ones because I don't want to resize them because they'll have horrible quality so I'm just going to go ahead and go under image canvas size and change it to 330 by 480 and you're going to want to make sure that this is unlinked and now you'll notice that it's in the form of an eye touch Basically, I'm just going to center mine in where I want my text. And for resize layers, make sure you have all linked layers. That way it won't resize these text layers. So now you have the yellow box around all the text. And now you're going to want to scale your text layers. Now I'll just go through this really quick. Zoom in if you need to, obviously. that's pretty good for now but I'd make that text a bit bigger but since this is just a tutorial I'll leave it the way it is now so once you have that wallpaper then you're gonna want to go under file save as and save it as wallpaper.png and click save and since this is the wallpaper I want I'm just going to cancel that and in the next dialog that comes up you just want to click on OK you don't need to worry about changing any settings okay now you're going to want to open up iPhone box I already have it open here you'll notice that you have a few of these different icons recovery for music and video that basically shows you all your music and video you have in in case you lost something, you can just recover it from there. General storage is basically just a storage that you can put anything you want in. Camera shows your pictures, wallpapers, that's just the default wallpapers that iTouch comes with. Ringtones are your ringtones, applications, basically the applications. Raw file system shows a bunch of folders and stuff and themes you're not gonna have that one because it's a shortcut that I need so I can access it really easily I'll show you guys how to make one now okay to get into the themes folder you're gonna want to make sure you have winterboard installed onto your iTouch and if you have that installed through Cydia go under library and you'll have themes right here now to create a shortcut to it just right click themes and click add to shortcuts I, um, under your themes you're going to have a bunch of these themes that are, can be viewed through Winterboard you're going to want to create a new folder and name this whatever you want I'll just name this tutorial.theme and you'll see and make sure it has dot theme right there now go ahead and open up the folder and all you have to do is drag your wallpaper into there and you're done now on your eye touch you're going to want to go into winterboard winterboard right there 
and open it up and you'll notice that you have a new category called tutorial um, I'm not going to change it but once you click it it'll just show up the wallpaper like I have now and that's it to it uh, if you guys have any problems with this I'll help you with it um, so re comment subscribe if you have it um, again sorry I haven't been on a lot but I've just been busy doing other stuff so oh yeah I'd also like to see that I'm not providing any more help with the V bulletin but I know there's someone on YouTube that's willing to help you guys I'll put his name in the video description and for the V bulletin videos I have I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks.